Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to some more Shapes 2, doing an actual playthrough this time instead of just a showcase. And we're currently doing a bit of a challenge run. So I've decided it's going to be a no space belt, no space pipe run. So this space belt, this space pipe are not going to be allowed after we've unlocked trains. So obviously before we've unlocked trains, it's impossible to do anything without these. But after we've unlocked trains, um, we're going to do everything without, um, without space belts and without space pipes. So here we go. We just unlocked fluids and painting. We did most of the work for that last time. And now we are ready to go. So we're going to, we've already got some things set up here. Um, so I'm actually going to show you what the deal is. I've got these painter blueprints. I'll put one there, one there. Uh, there's a, there is actually a shortcut so you can click on something and use it. Um, and I never figured out what that, I've seen it in a couple of places. So maybe I should actually figure out what that is. Um, toggle building mode space. Toolbar. Uh, C. I wonder if it's C. It is C. Be oh, that's beautiful. I, I swear to God, I've built like four memes so far, and I've never figured out that C is actually what does that. Anyway, so. Fluid miner. We do not have the extension yet. So we're going to have to do all these. Actually, we have to do these manually. Uh, where's my pipes? So you can still get full throughput. Whoops. No, we want the actual pump first. No, oh, somebody's sending me messages. Somebody still thinks I'm working at the moment. Um, oh. I'd love to get 12 out of this, actually. I wonder if we can get 12. One, two, no, we can't. We can get 10 out of it, but we can't get 12. So the way we do this is this one goes up to here. So this is how to get a full pipe when you don't have fluid minor extensions. Okay, and then we copy this one to there, copy this one to there, and copy these ones to there, and then we do this. And this one goes over to there, and then this one goes over to there. And that is going to give us our squares. And I'm just going to alt-tab over to my message and make sure it's nothing super important. Uh, no, it's not anything super important. Uh, do, 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 do. But I do have to keep track of that. Anyway, let's go back to the game. And I've realized I forgot to check the sound settings between the last video, but it's all good. So this one uh, goes like this. And this one I was going to send one of these up here, wasn't I? So let's have a look. So you're on the right and you're on the left and you're on the da and you're on the da and you're on the da. So, and you will remember that we are still going for eight belts on everything. Actually, we can get rid of a lot of, we can save a lot of our points here. Uh, a hell of a lot of our, let's just blow all of those away. We don't need them. We do not need them. Oh God, did I just destroy my stacker? My perfect stacker blueprint? I think I did. Did I, have I saved this? I don't think I have. Um, stacker eight. Let's, let's, let's just go ahead and save that because I spent like 20 minutes. I really need to get folders going here. Uh, some folders, maybe I should start doing that. Uh, stacker eight. Cause yeah, so. This one is on the left and on the right, and then this one is on the 
that's uh, just a little bit convoluted, just a little bit convoluted. Uh, that's actually really bad. I'm going to delete all these belts. It's actually really bad because the thing is with these guys, this is cutting it. So we're sending equal amounts off to the other side. So you do not want to have one belt going all the way over the place and the other one going a short distance because then what happens is that's when you have one side backing up and the other one not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it like this. So the sides are fine and this one they have to cross over each other. Uh, how do we do this? do that I don't think I've left myself enough room no we need and then these guys need to be one more okay okay now we got equal distance splitting over in the middle uh, oh that's not good you and you need to be rotated 180 degrees actually no no because remember we're trying to get a particular shape here what's the shape so the red always needs to be on the right so you need to be rotated 180 and this one needs to be rotated 180 as well but it's a bit hard to rotate this one so i'm not going to i'm going to rotate this one and then i'll rotate this one and then, thank God we still got this. And then you go straight into the output. And for some reason, it's only registering on one on half of those belts. Why is it only registering on half of them? You're full. You're full. You're full. You're full. You're full. You're full. I don't know why it's only registering on half of them. That was weird. Still. Am I missing something here? I may be missing a belt somewhere. Mm. Yeah, it's over here as well. What am I missing? Ah, oh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, no, that is very, very interesting. Because the stacker... So this stacker... Eh. No, that's... that. So this stacker won't work as a normal 4x4. Uh, four four. It doesn't actually work as a normal 4x4. Four of the way we did the outputs okay you know what we gotta we gotta fix this stacker because i want it to work as a four by four as well it should work both as a four by four and as an eight by eight so let me turn this around a bit we're gonna have to update this uh, so yeah so it's a normal four by four only this side gets its things managed so yeah so this one goes there this one bumps up and then goes there this one goes there this one goes there now this is actually impossible at this point because we've got to get squeezed three belts through here although is it impossible i wonder 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 So we squeeze that one across. No, that's that's terrible. That's terrible. We can't do that. How do we how do we do this? Um, can we move this whole thing back one? Not really. There's not a lot of space here. There's, there's almost no space. Hmm. 
there's a bit of space in the middle, so we can squeeze these ones apart, maybe. Yeah, that's a that's a very thorny problem because yeah, only only three only three gaps there. It's kind of this one. This one is the one. These two are the ones we want to move up. But I don't see how we can, because you've got four belts there. And then you've got two belts that come through here. And then we gotta we gotta have this space here. Uh no! I don't actually know how to do that. I'm sure there's a way to do that, but I just can't think of it at the moment. I mean if we had three le levels, then yeah, sure. But at the moment. At the moment, I really don't know. I'm going to think about this for another minute. Um, I'm sure somebody is yelling at the screen right now telling me how to do it, but I just don't know. But I really want to get it working. I really want to make this work. I, like, I have to make it work, otherwise it's just, it's just a terrible solution. Okay, so here's... You go up like that. You go up like that. See, already we've blocked off two lanes. And we've got two more that need to go through. Hmm, how do we do this? And of course, as soon as we unlock the third lane, we're going to go straight through and we're going to say, what is going on here? I'm only getting two belts coming through. Ah, oh, they're, they're being held up on the other side. Because this one's backing up because it's got the same stacker problem. Alright, well, for now, we're going to copy that one over there so at least it doesn't back up. But yeah. No, that's an interesting, that's a very interesting problem that I would very much like to solve, but I don't know how. Uh... Yeah, we gotta we gotta get one of these belts around differently somehow. Okay. The ironic thing is we're using four. We're using these stackers. We could probably switch over to these other stackers the straight ones and not lose any space and still have the same amount of space. I don't know that it really helps us to be honest, but it's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting, all right. Okay. So this is a problem. This is a problem I'd very much like to solve. We're not solving it at the moment, but I'm going to think about it. And while I am thinking about it, we are going to be painting this guy. We're going to paint him we don't have the fluid things. So we're just going to do the same old dodgy setup. Down there. And then this one. I'm going to go over there. Oh, we got a thousand, thousand seventy. Oh, that's right. Because the milestone gave us like a thousand platform points. Okay. All right. So in that case. Yeah, so we only we need eight for this because of the way we're doing it. We only need eight for this, even though we're doing double because we're coloring the full square and then splitting it up. So that's fine. So we need red. This is the closest red. So we've got the platform points now to be able to map this out. So let's just map that out. Let's just send those pipes nice and long. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to get these guys working. And then once I've got the actual thing going, I'm going to return to my pontification on how to get that stacker working correctly because, yeah, I definitely would like to get that stacker working correctly. So you have got some garbage, but it's old garbage, so that's fine. Okay. You should be good. We just fit into that one. 
Again, garbage. But we've got eight belts coming out nice and straight. So that is pretty much it. And yeah. So we can see we've got a full eight belts of this one coming out. Uh, so we need another source of squares to get the full eight belts. So we can start to set that one up here. Um, yeah, and then we need this. And then we need basically this. What am I missing? Oh yeah, this is this is not what I actually want. This is what I want. What's the matter? Oh. That would explain it. Okay. So now you've got your thing going in there. You've got your thing going in there. Uh, the rotations might be a little bit weird. What have we got going on? Yeah, see, that's an issue. That's definitely an issue. Uh, let's get rid of these belts. What do we got? So we've got you on the right, you on the left, you on the left, and you on the right. So you on the right, and then you on the left, so that makes sense. And then you on the left, and you on the right, so that makes sense. Uh, let's just get rid of these rotation things. Ah, God. Everything's going wrong. Okay. That looks fairly solid. Um... We want them to be reversed though. Uh, so, I guess rotate 180 there, rotate that there. These ones are going through, which is nice. And now, now we use our proper stacker, the stacker that we don't care about if it does weird things or not. Let's get rid of that. All right. So that's upside down from where we want it. That's fine. Rotate 180. Just, if you're in doubt, just rotate 180. Although I don't think it actually cares too much, to be honest. Um, so what are you doing? you're getting ready to produce what? Sometimes you have to zoom in all the way for the little shape to pop up. It's very interesting. Uh, you got some colors for me. You got some colors for me. That shape's like that. So yeah, that one. Yeah. And then we'll stack that once that one is ready to go. Uh, okay. Back to the drawing board on this one. Because uh, this, this is really annoying me. We've got we to gotta fix, uh, fix this blueprint. Do we just start from scratch? Uh, okay. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start from scratch. I, I don't really want to start from scratch, but we're going to start from scratch. And this time we're just going to use these normal ones. So, two spaces in the middle. Uh, yeah, that's very tight. That's very tight. Um, on the spacing because we got a space there and then we got space for four belts and that's it. So this 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 is very okay. Cuz yeah, look like, look at these guys. They have to go in and they have to do this. 
but then you've got to get the belts out somehow. Now you could get the belt out and then jump it up here. You can't do that with these stackers, but you can do them with the other stackers. So let's do it. Let's use the other stackers because at least those give us a little bit of freedom. So. We're going to go back and check that, uh, check this guy in a second, make sure he's being sent through. He should be. Okay, you're stalled there, we're waiting over there. What are we waiting for here? One side to come through. This side is sending one side, so it's just slowly filtering through, okay. Have we got a display? We've got a display, okay, so those guys will get sent through. We've got the red ones coming over there so we can do a nice quick splitter once they show up. Where is, where is my stacker? Okay, sorry about that. So yeah. Hmm. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna move it over two places. So this one goes like this, this one goes like this, this one goes like this. It's kind of like a puzzle solver at this point. So the lanes, these lanes are completely free now for the outputs. Um, so the bottom ones go over to here and they go over to here and they go over to here and then they go over to here. Hmm. Actually, I kind of feel like we want to send the outputs like this. Because then they're just out of the way on the bottom level. So in that case, we're sending these guys like that. Got a shape going through. Okay, that's that one done. We got copy uh, big Mr. No, actually, the oh, we are sending eight belts. Yes, we are sending eight belts. So yes, we definitely do want this one. Mm. Double check that. Yep, eight belts coming through and all the way over here. We got these ones are good to go. We need to rotate them, I think. Yeah, I forgot to rotate them. Uh, let's just do that. Rotate right. Boom, boom. Red shapes are taking their sweet time to get over there, but they are on the way over there. And this one's taking its sweet time, so, but they are on the way over there. Okay, back to the design work. So the problem is we need to get these ones over there. And then these ones need to go up the other side. So these need to cross over somehow, which is almost impossible. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's just, it's just very, very difficult. How did we actually do it in the other stacker? So the other stacker, we had two extra spaces there, which allowed us to squeeze those two through, and then the other ones just all got sent over. But here we've moved these guys up to. Do we actually need to move them up to? Not really. We only need to really move them up one. Because then that gives us the room, the move, the room to move these guys, all four of them, through there. And actually, since we're sending these down, we've got the two spaces. Well, we've got one space in the middle, completely good. 
So I wonder if we can just move this down even further. Just got to give me, give me a bit of room here to sort of think about this. Um, so let's have a look. So we've got one, two, three, four belts. So this one goes like this. This one goes like this. This one goes like this. This one. See, that's, that's the tricky bit right there because we want to sort of take it around. But then it's going to clash with this belt that we have to take around to send over the top here to put the top bit. Yeah, so that really doesn't really work. So let's get rid of that belt. And let's let's move these guys back out. One, well, that's what I wanted to do. Move these guys one further up. Uh, let's double check the home base. Oh wait, these ones are in the wrong rotation. Maybe we should have left these guys in the... We should not have reversed them. Because then we'd have to reverse the other ones. So we'll keep these guys as they are. But then we'll have to reverse the output here. And I haven't, I haven't yet sorted out an 8-bit reverser. But we could, we could do that very, very simply. Uh, so what we do is here... And we do a four bit reverser. And then basically what we do is we just E, put it on the second level. Boom, Bob's your uncle. Okie dokie dokie. So back to the drawing board. So this one is four. Then we've got one pipe going in here do this and we've got enough room here actually because we've got one doing there and then one doing here and then one doing here so all of our all of our outputs are gone we've got these four belts going in and we've just got to get these four going in Hate it when it does that. You think you've popped up a popped up a belt, but you weren't actually holding down the mouse button, so you actually just placed one at the top level. Okay. So we're running out of a little bit of uh, a little bit of vertical space, actually. So I'm going to see how this works. I'm going to copy and paste this guy. Okay. Let's see what we're working with here. I think we've got enough space. Okay. All right. So we've got belts. Those belts are fine. These belts are fine. All right. We got some, those ones, we can just ignore them. We got that one going across fine. That one goes there, that one goes there. This one goes, take, just get rid of V to sh take off all the top belts. So that one can actually go there. And then That's fine. Uh, so you jump there, you jump there, you jump there, and you jump all the way back over there and then route across. My God, have we done it? 
I think we may have just no, we haven't we haven't quite done it, but the rest is pretty easy. Okay, well, first things first, um, let's get rid of the old blueprint, stack of eight. Uh, well, let's copy it and let's stack of eight. Oh, replace. I like that it, you can just replace stuff. So if we go to blueprint, stack of eight, paste it down. That's not what I expected. I thought we copied it. Okay. U, control S, stacker eight, save. Yes, override. Now we go to stacker eight. Okay, now it's the proper one. So we're going to delete those and we're gonna replace them with stacker eight, which I still don't have on my thing and we're going to do that and we're also going to replace this one with stack of eight uh, how do I actually seven okay there we go stack of eight so this is eight belts going through we're just going to make sure that this one works correctly and also this one. What is, oh, this is all this cutting and things getting stuck and things getting stuck behind other things that are getting stuck. This is not right though. Oh, of course, because I wrote, I'm rotating stuff, but I forgot that it's eight levels. They need an eight level rotator for that one. This is the old stacker. Um, we can replace that with the new stacker. Let's just replace everything with the new stacker. Why not? We didn't, did we, we, we didn't replace these two. Let's replace those. Two. Let's just go all in, see what happens. It's gonna slow things down a little bit, but that is fine. All right, so far things look pretty good for this one. Oh, you can actually hear the stacking noises. That's pretty cool. If you zoom in far enough. These are going very slowly. Oh, silly, 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 silly me, silly me. Uh, I forgot to actually route it. That probably, that is, I mean, we were doing good blueprint work, so I guess that's permissible to miss that out. But we are trying to get something actually done in this episode, so we should probably try and... All right. Probably try and actually get the goals going through at some point instead of just missing it and then having to go through and save it again and then ending up with another bloody i i assumed this one was going to be like a, a th like a 20 minute video because i already did a lot of the pre legwork beforehand but no 50 50 minute video um maybe even an hour long video because we're definitely going to go or maybe we'll end it once we've got the final shape just sort of going through um but as you can see there's not going to be a lot more work on it anymore um all of the all of the decent amount of work has already been done and we've got a beautiful stacker blueprint eight lane god 12 lane don't know how i'm going to do that but yeah but anyway we can see it's a bit hard to tell when the belt is curvy but yeah that looks like one that looks like eight that definitely looks like eight going through there's gaps but there's gaps because it's built for 12. I think there's going to be a new change coming up where they actually display different lay layers on the belt, like different colors on the space belt. Not that we'll be seeing them much this playthrough because we're not allowed to use space belts, but yeah, that looks pretty solid. All eight going through. This one's being held up a bit. Uh, let's have a bit of a look here. 
it's all this cutting stuff like these guys going through slowly but they're starting to get fully populated and this one's starting to get fully this one's actually held up a little bit because it's waiting for the other side but yeah we've proven that we've definitely proven that the stacker works i mean this is pretty good proof and then if we go over to here we can see that well i was going to say the stacker works this one's backed up because it's waiting for the other side yeah if we go over to here this this one's oh they're going through they're going through pretty pretty good Oh yeah, see, so these are full belts under the covers, and these are full belts, and these are going out, and they're going out on the f all four of the bottom ones. So our stacker redesign has worked. If you only put in the four, the bottom ones on each side, then you only get the bottom ones out, which is nice. And yeah, it's slowing down because... Yeah, this is the sort of problem that you can have when you use cutters. Um, the cutters just sort of do their thing and they end up and of course with stackers as well like you've got this belt takes a lot longer to get over to here so it takes a lot longer for things to sort of get throughput um these are two separate systems that are getting stacked so it's not a big deal your biggest problem is when you have two different cutting systems that feed into two different stackers and you're using output for both of them this is when you can end up i don't think you can ever get deadlocked but your performance can go down the toilet in some circumstances and yeah it just ends up not being good so in this case we've kept this belt and this belt the same length so you're not going to end up well you shouldn't end up with any uh throughput issues and yeah it looks like they're all going through correctly but yeah you can see okay this one's a little bit slow why is this one a little bit slow because this one's a little why is this one a little bit slow this one's a little bit slow because they're not being cut because this one no this one's not backed up why is this one so this one's backed up why is this one backed up i see this one's not being used enough this right side yeah because it's coming in from here so and there's not enough coming in from here uh, i don't know it's this one probably because this one's backed up and this belt is being backed up because yeah cutters man they're just they're just a massive pain in the ass like cutters yeah you you try it if you're going to use cutters then what you want to do is not this try and avoid doing this what you want to do is this so you do the cut you do a little bit of faffery and then you stack them straight away so this is the absolute minimum amount that you can have after the cutter before you actually do stuff so what i would what i would actually probably if i was going to redo this what i'd probably do is um i'd send in a white square a gray square on one side i'd send in a red square on the other side and then i'd do everything just on one platform i wouldn't send post cut shapes onto the belt and have this huge incredible distance between them because it just causes problems um now you might have trouble fitting it all onto one belt that's the problem but maybe once you get a two by two you have a little bit more freedom um okay so we're just about ready to finish off this shape um and this shape doesn't need to get rotated it just goes oh i forgot this is like a this is a checkerboard this is okay that's a massive pain in the ass all right that's not cool that's definitely not cool well we don't need to send that one in so we're gonna send that one across over here somewhere and then we're going to make a checkerboard pattern out of this. Ha! Huh. All right, so this is going to be a long episode. My bloody oath. Uh. Hmm. 
So, yes, getting back, I was sorry, just getting messages from work. I get messages from work quite a lot, to be honest. Uh, yeah, checkerboard pattern. So the simplest and easiest option would be to cut this and then do this again. And I was just complaining about how, what a terrible thing this was to do. So we're not doing that. We're not doing that. That is a terrible idea and we're not doing it. Uh, yeah, we're not, we're definitely not doing that. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to wait for this to sort of flow through and then I'm going to do exactly what I just said, which is having a one by two and then we basically just cut and re recompose it into the shape we want. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to, this is going to be another design challenge, but um, yeah, look at, look at that. Look at how, let's have a look at how slow this thing is. I mean, it's still pretty decent. But we're probably getting like 60%, maybe 70% throughput at the moment. And don't think that that's going to repair itself. It probably won't. It, it may repair itself. It may increase over time, but it may not. So, yeah. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to delete all of that crap. <coughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit interesting. So we're going to send that one over there. And then this one, we're going to do tab like that. And then this one goes over like that. And this one goes over like that. And yeah, and we're going to do the same thing over here. I'm not exactly sure how this one is. Well, this one is just going to be a clone, obviously, of the other one. So, yeah. So, the important thing about this is we only need to get 50% throughput on this belt because we're splitting this belt earlier. And this belt is currently just four lanes. So, we could... Yeah. So, what we need to do is we only actually need eight cutters for this one. And then, so this one only uses two cutters, only uses two cutters. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Only uses two cutters, only uses two cutters. So we're only doing half throughput because we're splitting it up earlier. So now what we want is we want a nice little cross pattern. Now I still want this to be, um, what do I want it to be? I want it to be lossless. So we're not going to be using these cutters. Which makes it very, very interesting as to how we can make this work. Um, actually, I'm not sure if we can make it work. We kind of really need a two by two here um, to have enough space. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to move that out of the way. Uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna see how this works. Oh, I don't have to actually have enough room over there. Okay, screw that. Uh, paste that over there. We need the two by one to actually have enough space to do that. That's that's not great. <coughs> Okay, so how do we how do we do lossless cutting for this? Because we kind of want to we're going to need stackers, but the problem is with this quarter stacker. This quarter stacker means you, you like this one. You can do two stackers on the one line. It's not too bad, uh, and we don't have enough space. Well, actually, we do have enough space. We just got to get creative. So I'm going to move this one all the way out to there. And then this one can go there. And we give ourselves three spaces per thing. 
and then this guy can go out there and this guy can go out there and look at that we give ourselves three spaces and it works out perfectly now can we do what we need to do with three spaces i don't actually know but i'm gonna i'm gonna see <coughs> I'm going to see if we can. So I'm going to do some cutting here. And this one's just going to go over there and mind its own business. So this guy, I'm going to rotate to be the top right. And then we're going to stack it. And we still have to use the four stacker because we got no choice. We want. Now we're desperately running out of room there, so this is not good. This is definitely not good. We can't really shift them down any further, but... Yeah, we're running out of, running out of room already. This is why we need two by twos. I can't afford a two by two yet. Where is my two by two anyway? Uh, it's 20 points here, we can't afford that. Uh, Hmm. See, normally what you would do is you put this on the second level, but then you've got to get it past all of these guys. And we can't afford to have four spaces. We just can't. So we've got to do it in three. Now, okay, let's, let's try and do absolute squeeze here. Uh, F. So that is on the top level there. That one gets out of the way, ASAP. Now, we've got minimum space here. So we're gonna flip this one. Okay, I think we might still be okay. It's gonna be very, very tight, but it might still be okay. So this one, oh, sorry. Uh, we're gonna drop it down. So that's the top right. And then we want this one to be the bottom left. So we're gonna to have to rotate that on the high and then do that. And we can actually join these guys here. Okay. And what I'll actually do is I'll rotate it, move, spread that out and then these two can join in the middle and we've got a belt coming up like that. Okay, this is, this is not looking too bad. It's still, it's still gonna be a little bit hairy to actually get it into the output because we kind of run out of belt space. Yeah, we ran out of belt space. Uh, if I could shove these over by one, then we can send it straight up, but that's kind of not how it's going to work. Okay, no, we're, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, so you go out there, and then you go, you jump up, and then you jump down, and then you go there. And unfortunately it looks like it's putting out garbage. I thought, what are we doing here? Maybe, maybe flipping this wasn't a good idea. Uh, it should have still been fine. I suppose the cutters maybe are doing different behavior. Yeah. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, I was waiting for this to tick up, but I realized we're just, we're redoing the whole thing from scratch. Okay, yeah. Um, so this one is the bottom right. So that one we don't actually want to. We want to save it to be the bottom left. And then this one is the bottom. Okay, so this one's fine. And that side is fine. 
So that one's, we want to keep that one being the bottom left. And the problem is this one now. So we're going to rotate that one up to the top right. I don't know why suddenly, and I can't actually see. I'm assuming that's the top right. Uh, let's put our... Oh, we haven't actually got the trash open. Uh, I was about to put the trash out so we can see it going through, but yeah. So that one up the top. All right, so that one's good. So it's just this one. So, we're, so this one should be easy to fix. Yes, yeah, because we're we're flipping, so you can flip the rotators, and it doesn't matter. But if you try and ah, uh, uh, it's because we reversed, which means we moved the reverses around the wrong direction. So yeah, we had to do this one, move it over to the other side. Okay, that's understandable. So then, we have you. Was that right? Yeah, that was right. You and you. Fix this belt, fix this belt, fix this belt. Fix this belt here. Just that one doesn't go there. It just goes there and just goes there. And then this one goes up like that. Okay, now they're solid. Okay. Now, we are fully utilizing this belt. <clears throat> and we got four stackers pumping it into one belt, so it should be should be fine. So we should have actually no, that's interesting. How are we doing this? How are we doing this? Because we got four coming in, and we got four coming out. But we only use, got half the material. So what's going on here? I've done something wrong. I don't quite understand it. So we definitely got a full output belt. Oh yeah, that's right. Stupid, stupid me. We only got half an input belt coming in. Because that's all we said we needed, right? Uh, okay. Because yeah, because we got this being split off into two different things. Okay, yeah. Beautiful. So... What we're going to do here is we're going to send this one through. So that one spits out there. That one spits out there. Okay, so we've solved our cutting longevity issue anyway. Now, what we need to do is we need to rotate this one right. And this one just stays straight. And then we stack them. Okay, beautiful. So, that is how you do a brilliant little setup. Actually, you know what? We don't actually need this many stackers, to be honest. Because we can just merge them into each other before we stack them, if we really wanted to, because we it, it's pointless having this many stackers. Or is, or is it? And you know what, we can just we just have extra stackers. It doesn't matter if the stacker is only half used, uh, half utilized, it's still gonna come out in the end. So yeah, rotate that here, and then we're gonna split it over the other side and then we're going to rotate the other side right and then we'll end up with the uh, alternate now these belts just merge together normally no they don't they don't actually because we're taking half a red and half a grey and producing a full belt of 
this is a full belt, so we don't merge it together. Okay, so we didn't do a stack. Now we can rotate it afterwards, so it doesn't really matter what order we sort of do them in. So let's just get this one there, get this one there, and then you go under and you do this one. That is going to produce that side, and that is going to produce. Come on, buddy, give me a give me a look see. Yeah, it's not telling me yet. It's not telling me what it produces yet. This one's not telling me what it produces. Did I do something wrong here? Oh, I did something wrong. Um, that's awkward. Uh, that's very awkward. How do we do this? I don't think an, und oh, an underground belt can go that far. Beautiful. Okay, are you happy now? Are you happy? I don't know why sometimes you have to zoom in really far for it to be happy. I'm not sure if it's actually happy. I'm not sure if they... Let's take a look at these. I may have broken the underground. I'm not sure if it's actually going to work. They're going, they're going, they're going. Yeah, looks like they're working. Looks like it's uh, working. We're just going to keep an eye on it. Yeah, so they're definitely going through and they'll pop out the other side and yeah, this one should be outputting the same as this one. So yeah, this one is now populating, this one is now populating. That's the correct way, that's the correct way. So now we've got this eight stacker and these are both actually, uh, oh, actually what we could do because I've been thinking in terms of four stackers. So what we could do is we just have an eight stacker and then we do something like this. Boom. And then we've got our full eight stack going forward. And then all we need to do is Stack that, and this one is the top. Oh, yeah, get out of there. And we're good. We're definitely good. So that is how you fix that problem with the cutters. Um, with it, because the longer the distance you have between the cutters and the things that are stacking them, you end up in weird situations that it does weird things. So you always want to minimize that distance. And that is how we did that here. And we've also shown that if you've got three belts wide, you can cut a full square into quarters and then stack them to form this little shape. But you've got to have three wide. If you've got two wide, it's impossible to do. It's absolutely impossible. You might think it's possible because you can like put these side by side and it kind of works. So you could do something like this and then you do uh, a cutter and then you do cutter and then on the top level, whoop, and then on the top level, you do this. And then this one goes up into there and this one goes up into there and then you just send the belts through. The problem is this guy, you need six of them, which means if this is currently getting a quarter of a belt in, uh, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't work because yeah, it just it just doesn't work. The ratios aren't quite there. Or are they? I mean, well, let's just have a... I mean, this is stalled up. Why have you stalled up? This one's stalled up. This one's stalled up. This one's stalled up. Why have you all stalled up? Oh, it's waiting for more guys coming from over here. This one's being a little bit slack. Not sure why, but... I mean, these are running full speed. We have a look at them. This one's running full speed. This one's running full speed. This one's running full speed. 
This one's running full speed. So they're definitely not slowing down. They're definitely all running full speed. Yeah, because I mean, obviously, you, if you've got one in full output belt, you need four stackers to keep the output belt full. So we've got a half belt coming in, but we've got a full belt coming out. So yeah, you need these four stackers. So if you're using the less efficient stackers, you would not be able to fit it in the same amount of space. You just wouldn't. Hmm, okay, well, I guess you'll just have to trust me on that. Yeah, full belts coming out here, even though we only got half belts coming in here. So that all makes sense. Uh, almost, almost eight belts, but that's just sort of settling in. And we got these guys coming in, all just settling in. And once this one starts to tick up, we'll probably just end the video because I don't think we want to wait for all 14,000 of them to go through. But on the next video, we will be starting with nothing. I will delete everything and then we will start from nothing and we will just be using trains. Uh, for pretty much everything. I think that's going to be a hard rule. We're going to be using trains and pipes for everything. Um, but I might start with setting up some of these easy, very easy tasks. I could probably do some of them now, actually, because we can just set them up here. But it will be nice to do them with a no space belt restriction. Okay. There they go, they're all going through, there's the first one. And we're right over the one hour limit, so yeah. We spent way too much time doing blueprints, but it is all good. We are all happy, and yeah. Look how much input we're coming in. A lot of input there, a lot of input there. So this one just has to saturate a little bit, and then we will absolutely have eight belts coming out of the output. But yeah, we need some research points because getting to trains without having any research points is very rough. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later.